Today we are going to discuss about what joints are and why they are important. Okay, so now before even going into detail, we must understand that joints can actually be on different items. One, you can have joints on metal, you can have joints on wood, you can have joints on plastic and many other different materials. Today we are going to specifically talk about joints in woodwork. Now, question number one, what is a joint? Okay, so a joint is a point where two or more components of a structure join or meet. Okay, sometimes it can also be defined as uh, a part of a structure where two different members of that structure are actually having a point of whom meeting okay so now after understanding what a joint is we are going to understand some of the categories of joints number one joints are generally categorized into three groups the first group are the framing joints the framing joints okay then the second group uh, um, the framing joints, then the lengthening joints, then after the lengthening joints, we have the widening joints. Okay, so now let's talk about what framing joints are. When we talk about framing joints, we're talking about joints that are used to terminate or to change direction in a structure. Okay? For example, you want to make a door frame, okay? Or even a window frame that is made, that is going to be out of woodwork. Okay? So now, that kind of a window frame or a door frame is going to have joints where this piece can be coming from the eastern direction, then you want to change the direction of that joint to the west. As you do that, you're going to make sure that you put another piece that is going to join at an angle, okay? That is going to join that piece that is coming or that is basically upright into a different direction. So now, that kind of a joint that is used to change direction is what we are calling as a framing joint. Let us go to the second category of joints. That is the lengthening joints, okay? Lengthening joints, these are simply used to increase the, the effective room length of a piece okay you have a piece that is 50 meters long you want it to be 100 meters long what are you going to do you're going to get another piece okay then you're going to put them together and you are going to increase the effective length of that piece so lengthening joints are simply those joints that are used to increase length then we also have another type of a joint which is the widening joint now when we talk about the widening joint we are just talking about joints that are used to increase the width of a timber or a board. Okay. So when we talk about increasing the width, we are talking about increasing the surface area of that timber. So those are the three categories of joints. Number one, we are saying framing. Number two, we are saying uh, lengthening. And number three, we are saying widening joints. Okay. Now, after understanding these joints, let us now go into types of joints. What are some of the types of joints that we have to know? Number one, there is what we call a lap joint. A lap joint. Okay, so for a lap joint, uh, this is simply a joint. This is one of the basic, most basic joints that you can ever come up with in design and technology because you are going to get a piece of uh, wood Okay, that is um, not as long as you wish it to be. Then you're also going to get a piece of wood that is not as long as you wish it to be. Then you're going to put them together and join them. You can either use nails or screws or any other type of um, a fixing that you want to make sure that that piece becomes longer. So this one is under lengthening types of joints. A lap joint. You're going to see it nicely. Okay. 
Then the other type of uh, joints that we can talk about is the other type of a joint that we can talk about is the finger joint. So a finger joint usually is formed by machine. It is very hard for you to make a finger joint in a workshop that is not having um, proper machinery. But in a workshop that has proper machinery, you are able to make a finger joint. A finger joint from just the joint itself. Finger. Okay? It is a joint that looks like just fingers of a human. Okay? You are going to make a piece of wood in such a way that it is going to look just like your fingers and also another piece that is going to look just like your fingers. Then these fingers are going to be interlocked together to make a joint we are calling as a finger joint. Now this one is actually a very very good joint. It leaves a good finish. It is a very long joint but it is supposed to be made by machine because it is a very very hard joint to make in a workshop that is not having proper machinery. Then we also have what we are calling as a butt joint. A butt joint, we are saying this is just a joint that is also used to lengthen uh, the effective um, uh, length of a piece of wood. It is used to lengthen the piece of wood. Now, how do we do it? We are saying you are going to have your piece, okay, just for draft purposes in this. Then you are going to also have another piece just like that in this manner. Then you are going to join them at this point just like that. So now when you have this kind of a joint, here you can even apply some glue. After you apply some glue, then you can get a waste or a different piece of uh, timber that you can put here. Okay? Then you are going to nail here to make the joint stronger. So now this piece of wood that you are going to add outside the butt joint referred to as a cleat okay so there is what we call a single cleat butt joint and also a double cleat butt joint so now in this case the one that i've demonstrated on the board is a single cleat because this is a piece of timber that is just added to one side of this kind of a butt joint to make it stronger so that it does not come out as you um, have uh, finished your work so this type of a joint is referred to as a joint. Then we also can look at another type of a joint in design and technology. Okay? So now this type of a joint is called housing joint. Now, when you talk about housing joint, we have a number of housing joints that we can talk about. The first one is a through housing joint. The second one is a stopped housing joint. The third one is a double stopped and also a dovetailed housing joint. You are going to see them on the slides. These type of joints are actually very effective uh, types of joints that are used in framing. We said when we talk about a framing joint, we are talking about a joint that is used to change direction. So as you change direction of your piece, you are going to find that using a housing joint will be much easier and much effective for you. Uh, types of joints rather are very effective. They leave a very strong and a very beautiful finish because they do not penetrate on the other surface of the piece that you join them with. You will see them in slides. So these are what we call housing joints. Apart from housing joints, we have another type of a joint that we are calling as a laminated joint. Okay? A laminated joint. So now, when we talk about a laminated joint, we are talking about a joint that looks like this. You have a strip of wood, okay. When you say a strip, you're talking about a wood that has got a very small thickness, okay. Then you also want to uh, get another strip of wood like that, you join them together, you get another strip of wood, you join them together like that, okay. In between, you can use glue to make these uh, or to attach these uh, types of um, uh, strips or types of timber so that they can make a timber that is going to have a better thickness and a stronger, stronger uh, base. So when we do this, we are saying the joint that you are coming up with is what we call a laminated joint. Okay? You are going to laminate small pieces of strips together. So this type of a joint is referred to as a laminated joint. Then also have another type of um, uh, a joint called a butt joint. 
a bad joint. So when you talk about a bad joint, I think we've talked about that. Uh, okay. A bad joint, the first type of a bad joint that we're talking about was a joint, a bad joint that was used to increase the effective length. So now you can use the same bad joint to also increase the, the surface area or as a widening joint. So now this type of a joint, how do you make it? Uh, you just put a piece of timber like that, another piece, okay, then you arrange them in this manner, then here is where you're going to put Okay, your room to make the joint stronger. So this is a different piece, number one. This is a different piece, number two. So now, this is still a bud, but then this one is actually used to increase the, what? The surface area, or to widen the surface area of this piece of wood. So you can use a widening joint. You can use rather a bud joint to widen uh, the surface area of uh, a piece of wood. Um, or a table rather. Okay. Apart from that, we also have a double joint. We have a tanked and grooved joint. We have a loose uh, tank joint. We have a slot screwed joint. Apart from those joints, we have uh, a lot more joints. Okay. We can talk about number one. We can talk about um, tenon and uh, mortise, or rather a mortise and tenon joint. So a mortise and tenon joint, how is it like? Just for demonstration purposes. You're going to have a piece of wood. Then you're going to make a hole in it, like that. Okay? Then you're going to get another piece of wood. That is going to be like that. Which is going to have what we call a tenon, okay? So this part is the one that is going to enter into this part here, okay? So when this part is entering this part, now this type of a joint is a type of a joint that can be used in um, changing the direction or in framing, okay? This is the tenon that is going to enter inside the mortise here. So this type of a joint is referred to as the, a mortise and tenon joint. Mortis and tenon joint. Okay. So this one is also effective because it leaves a very strong finish and a very attractive finish because you are not able to see this part. This part is going to be inside this piece and what you are going to see is just a piece that is going to change direction nicely in this manner. Okay. So this piece has a piece that, that is inside this other piece like that. So, this is what you're going to have. This is called a mortise and a tenon joint and many other joints that we can talk about. So, these are some of the joints that we will be using, especially in design and technology, as we are going to be working on our final year project. So, make sure that you go through them, you understand, and you are able to um, make these projects in the design and technology workshop because they are going to help you as you'll be doing your final year projects. This has been a great time, a great lesson. Uh, till we meet next time, God bless.